if I start with um, the reasons that originally George Osborne, it was his concept, wasn't it, a construct about the Northern Powerhouse. The reason that that was important at the time was about the agglomeration effect, about just working more closely together, about trying to level up the North uh, before levelling up became the latest soundbite. So the government have identified that there's an important imperative in trying to achieve these things, and that's because we need to better retain the talent here and, and it not draining to London. And, and I think the way we do that is by creating a vision for our individual areas, and I, I think we've been able to articulate that quite clearly about the local city region, where we want to go, and then creating the ecosystem and the infrastructure by which those jobs that will attract uh, and retain those people into uh, are, are brought on stream. And I've just spoken to a previous one uh, in the seminar um, about how government can actually influence this by working in partnership with areas. Certainly not every area has got a metro mayor, but those areas that do have, we've got some of the things in place that government need so that they can guarantee that when they're providing the funding, then that's invested appropriately. So the cold assurance frameworks. So we, we've all got them. So the government can get a bigger bang for its book. It can get a greater return. And that's good for our area and our areas because that will ensure that we get the economic growth and diversification that we need. But also it's good for UK PLC they get a return on that investment and they get a greater multiplier effect in those areas where we have devolution than not. So we can do some of those things that will ensure that we get the right skills, the right level of skills, the right mix of skills, and work with our businesses so that we can respond to their needs. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting about the agglomeration effects. And maybe we can, uh, we